All right, so next what they're doing is it's asking for our tax identity information. And don't get scared. This is really not a big deal at all. All they want to know is, you know, at the Amazon has, has got to send you if you're if you're um, making tons of money on here, crushing it, making lots of sales, they got to send you tax forms. So they just want to figure out what kind of forms they should send you. So whatever state you live in, whatever country you live in, it's going to be a little bit different. So that's why they just want to figure that that stuff out. So really easy. This only takes a minute to do. Let's uh, go ahead and click the launch interview wizard button. And it may look a little bit different depending on whatever country you're in or whatever your location is, but it's really, really simple. They're just saying down here, you're going to need uh, your tax identification number, which everyone in the United States has. Um, it, if you don't have a tax ID, you should be able to use your social security number. Or like I mentioned earlier, you can set up what's called an EIN, an employee identification number. So even if you don't live in the United States, you can get an EIN. And let me show you how easy this is, right? So let me show you this because I'm, I'm sure it's going to ask me for this info and I just want to quickly mention it before moving on. If you go to Google and just do a search for apply for EIN, well, you should see right near the top uh, on the IRS's website, they got a page here for apply for an employee identification number. And I'm not going to give you this direct link because who knows, they might rename it and then, you know, you wouldn't be able to find it ever again. But just go to Google, type apply for EIN, and then go to the IRS website. So let's open that up. And Look, if you just go down to the bottom here, this is how easy it is to sign up for an uh, employee identification number. It literally only takes a few minutes to do, and then instantly they're going to give you a number here. So again, even if you're not from the United States, you don't live here, what you can do is you can set up a business here, set up an LLC in Nevada, Wyoming, or you know any other place. Um, and then what you can do is just you know, get a bank account in the area. And, and then once you've done that, then you can apply online now. And you just click this, it, you uh, put in your information and like usually instantly they'll give you an EIN number and then it's done. You're, it's all taken care of, right? So let's go back to Amazon. And they're asking me now, uh, are you a US person? So in my case, yes, I live in the United States. We will now gather your information. Okay, so let's uh, go to save and continue. All righty, my friends. So now what they're doing is they're asking me for the taxpayer information down here. So I just want to point this out. Do you see where it says business or trade name? So this is where you can put that DBA, that doing business as. Even if you haven't set up a proper business yet, you can just put that info in right here, the name you want to use in my case, that Blue Valley Supplements, right? The first thing it's asking us is the federal tax classification, though. Let's click on that. And look, if you got a C-Corp, S-Corp partnership or any of that set up, then you would, of course... Uh, do that. Otherwise, you might want to go to other and just do the business or trade name or just leave this as individual sole proprietor. That's most likely what you will use here, the individual sole proprietor. Otherwise, um, you know, go with one of the other ones, but we're not doing that. So individual or sole proprietor. And then this is where you can put your name right here. And then if you want to do that um, DBA, you could put that in right here. Blue Valley Supplement, sure. Do you see where it says tax identification? So you got two different options. You can use your social security number or ITIN, which I believe is for internationals. Actually, if you're a resident alien, enter your ITIN. There you go. Or uh, otherwise, that EIN. So again, even if you don't have a social security number you know, that you can use, then what I would do is I would get an EIN. You know, you could go to the IRS website and just quickly apply for the EIN. It takes a few minutes and uh, there you go. And you can get one of those and use that instead. So uh, in our case, we're just going to use this my uh, social security number. I'll plug that in right here. And as soon as you do all that, go ahead and click the big shiny yellow button that says save and continue. All right. So now it's uh, just giving me a review of the information that I put in. You should probably double check this, make sure that everything is correct. So that's all the only reason why they're asking you the tax information is just so they'll know what form to send you 
at the end of the year. That is all. So go through it, make sure everything looks right. And as soon as you've double checked everything, go down to the bottom. Right? Then as soon as you do that, what you want to do is click the button that says save and continue. And it's asking us if you want to consent to electronic 1099 form. Yes, we'll consent to that. Consent to this. Yes. Real simple, underneath where it says electronic signature, go ahead and put check marks in all these. I mean, as long as they do apply, you'll probably want to double check to uh, make sure that these are true. I just put checks in all these. And then we're going to do this, go down to the bottom, and you can sign right here. So just type in your name in this box. Then put in your email address, and as soon as you do that, click the submit button. Hey, so check it out. They just said that they have received my tax information interview info, and they said that, hey, we're just going to wait to get this approved. So just sit tight. You know, it may take a few hours, it may take a day or so, but as soon as they do that, then that stuff's all taken care of. So now what I want you to do is go down to the very bottom of this page, and down at the bottom, you're going to see this button that says exit interview. Go ahead and click on that. All right, now it's taking me to this page and it says tax interview completed. So next what I want you to do is click the button that says complete registration. Go ahead and click on that. And they're processing it. 